Hey, this is Brett with Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to show you how to use Android Auto on your 8.4 4C radio. We are in a 2020 Jeep Wrangler and uh, it has the 8.4 with navigation. It's the 4C radio and I'm, I have a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus here that we are going to pair via Android Auto to the radio so that I can show you how to use the Waze and Google Maps feature uh, through the radio and the Android Auto app. So the first thing you have to do is you have to go to your Google Play Store on your phone and make sure that you have Android Auto installed. So I'm going to hit install there. It's going to verify and you have to have your uh, Gmail account and everything set up with the phone obviously before you can get into the Google Play Store. So if you're having troubles with that, then uh, I really can't help you. Anyways, now it is installed. So now we're just gonna hit the main screen here. Next thing you're gonna need, uh, depending on your phone, is you're gonna have to have a USB device or cord that connects to your phone. So I have a USB-C, so I have the USB-C hookup here. I'm just gonna plug it in to the bottom of the phone, like so. And now it's going to uh, ask me a bunch of questions and you're going to want to hit continue and everything. Notice if you look at the screen up there, it says, please follow the instructions on your mobile device before uh, to complete launching Android Auto. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to hit continue here. I'm going to hit continue again. It's basically granting per permissions here, one of seven. So just keep hitting allow. If you hit deny to any of these, it's not going to work. So you got to keep hitting allow. So now uh, get set up, hit continue. Now you're going to want a, a notification to access. You're going to want to hit yes up here. Whoops, wrong one. I'm trying to watch through the video here. So hit allow. It's going to do a couple things to start select Android Auto on your car screen so now the phone oh it's going to ask you a couple more times to grant access so we should be all good to go I'm going to go up to the screen now and hit Android Auto and now we're all set up so you can see it goes right to Google Maps um, and you can do all your stuff in here in Google Maps that you want and you can select recent categories saved you can search destinations and all that good stuff here so the other thing you can do is you can go into your settings you can change how the thing looks in here and then finally uh, like I have Waze on this phone and I also have Google Maps so I'm going to switch program so you press this little circle button right here and now you can see I can select music I can select podcasts I can go to my calendar I can go to my phone um, I can go to settings and then I can also go to Waze so now I'm in the Waze navigation system which is uh, some people prefer it gives you shortcuts and all that good stuff and then uh, you can also do the play music and the calendar I don't think I have anything set up on this phone for a calendar, but it would show you your events for today. And then um, you can go to Google Maps again, play music. If I had music on this phone, I could scroll. See how it's not letting me because I don't have any music on the phone. But if I had music, I could scroll through my music by hitting that button right there. And then you can go to your phone. And then you can do voicemail, contacts, call history, and all that good stuff here pretty um, good stuff this is my camera phone that we're actually hooking up so I got a bunch of um, junk mail and junk history on here so these are all missed calls from robo dialers but anyways it's really as simple as that the hardest part is downloading Android Auto on your phone and allowing it all the permissions now every time I connect the phone to this Jeep it's gonna remember my phone so if I go into settings here and if I go into, let's see here, if I go into apps and projection manager, it'll remember my phone in there. So now I can stop projection in there. Um, 
while you're using it, you can't go to the paired phones. But anyways, I can stop the projection. And now it might tell me. Yeah, so there's my phone that I have connected. Um, yeah, and it's pretty easy as that. And then if you ever want to delete your phone, you just go in here and hit delete. Yes. And now you're all done. So really easy, as easy as that. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. And if you want to check out more demonstrations and cool Jeep stuff, in the uh, upper left-hand corner is a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to check out more videos, in the upper right-hand corner is more uh, videos to demonstrations. And if you haven't been to our website, you can check us out at summitauto.com and a link on the bottom. Thanks again for checking out the video, and I uh, hope this was helpful.